Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Anthony Brown. I am Associate Minister at First Baptist Church of Crestmont, where our very own Dr. Jerome F. Coleman is the pastor. Welcome to Time Out Thursday. This evening, I would like to read Jeremiah 31 and 4. And it reads as such, I will build you up again, and you, virgin Israel, will be rebuilt. Again, you will take up your timbrels and go out to dance with the joyful. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I ask you right now, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Father, I ask you right now that someone will be encouraged, set free, saved, and delivered in Jesus' mighty name. I tag this good enough. What stood out to me was I will build you again, and you, virgin Israel, will be rebuilt. In this rebuild, there's a mindset we must have. We must not allow anyone but God to tell us our worth. In this rebuild, as a child of God, we must tell ourselves, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me in this rebuild. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. In this rebuild, in whom we have boldness and access the, with confidence to faith in him. If people can label you, they also want to limit you and I. That is too much power to give anyone. You know, the devil is busy. He wants us to feel so inadequate that we cannot make it, but God gives us the power to move forward. Until we know how 
God feels about us, we will never know the worth as individual or our life purpose. In our minds, we can worry about how we look, what people think about us, and sometimes we question ourselves, are we going to be successful in life? But when you and I believe God's promise, he reminds us in Jeremiah 31 and 3, the Lord appeared to us in the past saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. So, the Lord is letting us know that he loves us with everlasting love and his promise us that he will rebuild us. So now we are free to focus on improving and reaching our God-given potential. What any man tear down, God can rebuild. If you are suffering from lack of self-worth, here is a prayer to help you. Father, sometimes I think I'm of no use. I cannot do anything right. I am not good enough. But I know that when you look at who I am and what I can be, you see Jesus. He is good enough. Just know this, he is good enough that he shed his precious blood to cover my unworthiness. He is good enough that he paid the price for every sin I could ever commit. He is good enough that he is working to perfect me each day. We must also understand that he is good enough to know that he sees me as righteous in Christ. He is good enough that he intercedes for me at the throne of God right now. He is good enough that he is many my broken areas in my life and making me whole. He is good enough that his love for me is everlasting and guaranteed. Thank you, Father, for everything Jesus does is good enough. And in him, I am good enough too. Welcome to Time Out Thursday. Be blessed.